Tones. Yeah, Ronaldo did a, a great job at the end drawing that penalty and keeping us cool. And, um, you know, that's what we're going to need out of him. He, he did a phenomenal job running around and uh, getting a lot of fans into it. And, um, he's, he's known for that. It's a lot uh, a lot better for us having him on our team than against him. So uh, he did a great job. you got to commend him for that. And then uh, also Ronaldo had a, a big game, big fight, big goal. And, um, he was buzzing. So that's what we need of these young guys. They get to step up and, and uh, show that they're, they're prepared to play their role. Having a guy like that, does that help you at all? Does that relieve some of the sort of expectation or pressure for you to have to be doing that yeah, all the time? To for sure. Guy? Um, you know, it's good because then I can I can kind of focus more on, on playing the game. And um, I think I've been trying to steer away from that a lot over the last few years. And, um, you know, I, I, it wasn't in my mind tonight as much as playing hockey. And, um, you know, that's I think that's where I'm at in, in my career and, and where they want me to be. So uh, having him definitely helps me take some pressure off me, and, and uh, he's a lot better at it too. <laughs> Brett, how, how good is it to have an overtime, full overtime yeah. situation instead of just 12 or 13, whatever it was, seconds the other night? Yeah. To have the full overtime tonight to experience yeah, a lot of different situations. I was surprised that they even uh, stopped the game, and, and I thought they were going to let it roll. I mean, what's the point of playing the overtime if you only play 12 seconds? So um, right. it's. Uh, you know, it was great to kind of experience it, especially the you know the, the different situations that can arise when we thought it was going four on three and then five on four. And, you know, so it's good to get those kinks up before you start the year.